Okay, this is the Randall Watson collector on the corner here. What I wanted to show you is this H engine. You look down in here. I put the oil I drained out of Debbie's car when I changed it off from the bottom up, soaking the bottom of them pistons. I don't think any of it's really soaked down much. It's just pretty much standing there. Been there a couple of days. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my torches and I'm going to heat the inside the water jackets on that block. If and I can find my striker, I thought it was in here. I got hung up a striker. Okay, say it. Find my striker. <laughs> This is the collector in the corner's wife saying he found the striker. Turn these bottles on real fast. So it's low, however long it takes me. I'm going to take the fire wrench to it. Okay. <laughs> well, that feels nice and warm. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is heat this block up and cast on block or fan in a different rate than that one in the I can get up in the water jacket pretty good here. It shouldn't take it too long. No, it's not bubbling yet. It was. Back here, just a No, no bubbling yet. <laughs> kind of stinky. Yeah, a lot of crust up inside that water jug. It won't hurt it to get hot either. Yeah. So this is starting to boil now. You look in there and see a little foam. See? Oh, yeah, I see it. I don't know if they can, but I can it's kind see of it. brown, the bubbles in it. There's a shadow on this. Oh, there it is. Shadow on this. What that'll do, terrible. that'll thin that oil out real thin, too. Yep, I see it. Like some really black coffee. <laughs> There's a pretty good flame coming out yeah, from I under. I see it. Looks nice. Aim it over towards the first one a little more than that second. Yeah, I don't know if I'm still. I think I'm getting it. Maybe. There we go.
not trying to cut anything. I'm just trying to heat it up good and hot. That's what I'm trying to do. That, that first one's starting to get hot now, too. I can see the oil moving. See the bubbles come up in it? Yep. Yep. That and there, the rod, good and loose. Oh, good. You hear that rod stick. It's getting easier. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, it's really bubbling good, that second one. Yeah. That's what we want to do. We want that oil to get hot. Mm -hmm. Boiling oil. <laughs> that third one's getting a little warm, too, because I see a bubble or two. See that? And they're starting to boil up, that brown yeah, bubble. I see it. I see it. What I'm hoping is after I heat this up, and then it cools down, they'll get looser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first one's starting to boil a little bit better. Yeah. I can reach you now. Third one's starting to boil. Third one's starting to bubble? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Get them all enough that that oil bubbles a little is all I'm wanting. Mm -hmm. Back one's starting to make a few bubbles too. Yep, I see them too. I mean, these fumes are real good for your lungs. They oil it up and everything. Keep that COVID from catching your lungs because the oil would kill that COVID. <laughs> That oily smoke, you know? Yeah, it's doing me wonders. <laughs> I wanna have to use oil of lay tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get all this oil film on our face and we'll start growing a set of pimples like we did when we were teenagers. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you never know. Oh, I got that back one bubbling too. See the brown coming up in it? Yep, I do. I don't want to heat this block up so much that I'm in danger of cracking it. I just 
a lot of surface area, and I got my torque turned down pretty low. I ain't got it turned up high like I'm trying to cut something. Now, I ain't got enough. Nope. I can always do more later if I need to. Might be too much of a good thing. <laughs> Let's hope not. But anyway, I wanted to heat on them before I. Dump this oil back out and caught it. That oil's pretty hot now. And I wanted to heat on them before I tried pushing them pistons downwards. But I got another little deal here. I don't know. Right here is a U4 power unit. Now I bought this. It was sitting inside of a building. And... It's not stuck. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah. It's not stuck, but somebody has dropped this engine because. This oil filter deal is right there is all broke off. This rod right down here in the bottom is bent, and the bottom of the oil pan's broke out. And it's still got the carburetor on it. I've got another one here that there's got a distributor on. I could start this up and find out if it's any good except for one thing. I put that filter off that H on there and put that pan off that H. This starter comes in from the front. The starter on the H and the M and all letter series farm also comes in from the back. So the starter would rotate the wrong way. It wouldn't turn this over. And I don't have a starter that rotates the other way. That kind of starter, I don't have a starter for it. Now, this is a same motor, same engine as what you would find in a Super H. A, a regular H has got 152 cubic inches, and this has got like 164 and a half along in there. See, it's got a dipstick rather than petcocks. It's not as big as a 300 engine, but it turns more RPM, makes more. Uh, turns 1800 RPM. It makes a little more horsepower than H does. I'm real tempted to pull this front cover off and that clutch housing and off of this and uh, put this engine just in that tractor. Try it, start it, see what it does. When I got this engine, I took all the push rods loose on it so none of the valves be open. There's none of them stuck. I can move every one of them valves up and down by hand. Real easy. There's, there's not a stuck valve in it. It's not that dirty on the inside. I'm real tempted to just go ahead and strip that old engine down, put the H stuff on it, put in that H and see if it'll run. You see? And if I get it running, it runs good, but it smokes and burns oil, it's still not that big a job to pull the head and the pan off, home in the cylinder, put a set of rings in it. I may do that. I don't know. Uh, I'm studying on doing that. But I give $75 for this motor. It was inside the building, bought an auction. Then I turned around, I went to another auction. Oh, quite a while later, and I bought this engine here for $45, but there's a spark plug broke off in the cylinder head right there. 
The porcelain's gone. See the porcelain on that? If you see the porcelain's gone, but it's, it's broke off in there. I don't know. Maybe a fella put a bolt down in there and take his wire welder and weld the fire out of it and get it out. Might, that head's been often been cooked out before, too. You can tell because there's no paint on that cylinder head. But I don't know anything about this engine. It's still got the engine. They still got oil in it. Yeah. It actually turns over easier than that. Now there's a little bit stiff. But imagine the mains and rod bearings are dry. That turns over a lot easier than that one yeah. does. Turns over pretty good. Of course that right there's not gonna turn over real good because every valve is closed, it's got spark plugs in it, I got oil on top of the pistons. Mm. There's a lot of compression in right there too. Ah. But I don't know. I I went ahead and And I spread these out. Then move these brackets over and spread them out on this axle. This little three-point hitch I got, homemade hitch, it's got four holes. You can have with the them in, or you can have them with it out. And I would rather have them further spread out. So I just moved them out. The reason I do that one's that because you ever want to get into the brake drums, you always got to take this off before you can ever get it that brake cover off to work on your brake liners or anything. If you want to work on your brakes, put it on out there. It's all the same. But it's just simple homemade three-point hitch. And I guess that'll be all for this video. And I thank everybody that's liked and subscribed and commented. And, uh, goodbye and good luck to you.